Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem without making use of a calculator? You have 2 to the power of 15 plus 2 to the power of 12 plus 2 to the power of 9 plus 2 to the power of 6 and plus 2 to the power of 3. Now let's start. For this, we are going to have 2 to the power of 3 times 5 plus here we have 2 to the power of 3 times 4 plus here we have 2 to the power of 3 times 3 plus here we have 2 to the power of 3 times 2 plus 2 to the power of 3 times 1. Now the next thing we are going to do is to apply this identity. If you have a to the power of n times m this equals we are going to have a to the power of n all to the power of m so let's apply it here we are going to have 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of 5 plus 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of 2 and plus 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of 1 is the same thing so we leave it like that now the next thing we are going to do is to substitute in the value of 2 to the power of 3 this is 8 to the power of 5 plus 8 to the power of 4 plus 8 to the power of 3 plus 8 to the power of 2 and plus 8. Then the next thing we are going to do is instead of this 8 to the power of 5 we can write it as 8 to the power of 4 plus 1 plus here we can have 8 to the power of 4 plus we do the same thing here we have 8 to the power of 2 plus 1 plus 8 to the power of 2 and plus 8. Now the next thing we are going to do is to apply this identity. If you have a to the power of n plus m, this equals a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So we are going to apply the identity. We are going to have a to the power of 4 times 8 plus we have a to the power of 4 plus a to the power of 2 times 8 plus a to the power of 2 we have plus 8. Now the next thing we are going to do is we factor out a to the power of 4 because we have it in two places there. So we have a to the power of 4 into divide this by 8 power 4 we have 8 plus 1 then here we do the same thing we have plus 8 to the power of 2 we divide this by 8 to the power of 2 we have 8 plus 1 we have plus 8 so this will give us we have 8 to the power of 4 times 9 then we have plus 8 to the power of 2 here we have 9 plus 8 now we have 9 that is common what we do is we factor 9 out we have 9 into 8 to the power of 4 plus 8 to the power of 2 then we have plus 8 now the next thing we are going to do is We can rewrite this as 9, we have times, here we factor out 8 to the power of 2, then we have times 8 to the power of 2 plus 1, then we have plus 8. So this will give us, we are going to have 9 times, this is 64, times we have 64 plus 1, then we have plus 8. 
so we are going to have 9 then we have 64 then we have times 65 plus 8 then we can rewrite everything as we can have 9 times instead of 64 we have 60 plus 4 then instead of 65 we have 60 plus 5 we have plus 8 so the next thing we are going to do is to multiply what we have inside this bracket out 60 times 60 we have 3600 plus 60 times 5 we have 300 plus 4 times 60 we have 240 plus 4 times 5 we have 20 then we have plus 8 then this will give us 9 times if you add this 300 plus 240 that is 540 540 plus 20 that is 560 so if you have 3600 plus 560 this will give you 0 6 11 1 carry over 1 you have 4160 4160 plus 8 so let's multiply this out you have 9 times 0 you have 0 9 times 6 you have 54 so you write 4 and carry over 5 then 9 times 1 we have 9 9 plus 5 we have 14 we have 4 again and carry over 1 then you have 9 times 4 this will give us 36 36 plus 1 you have 37 so if you add this we are going to have 3 7 4 4 8 and this is our final answer so that's it for the video i believe you enjoyed the class please don't forget to like give me a thumbs up and write a comment if you feel like share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.